Hey GPT-3 is, are you ready for the ultimate content creator's dream? Or maybe nightmare, depending on how you look at it. Either way, we've got 12 magical words that are guaranteed to get you excited. Rewrite content in bulk that is better than the original and undetectable. Yes, you heard that right. With the power of GPT-3 and Google Sheets, you can now rewrite content from multiple URLs. URL, I'm too excited. <laughs> from multiple URLs in bulk, making it better than the original and completely undetectable. So, are you ready to join the ranks of the ultimate content creators? Let's go. Welcome back. So the first step is you're going to need an OpenAI API account. To do this, head over to openair.com. The link is in the description below and then click API, sign up. And here you'll be prompted to add your email address and do a recapture. For the sake of the demo, I'm going to continue with Google as I already have an account. You will then be asked for a phone number verification. This is basically just to make sure that you're not someone trying to spam many accounts to get free credits. So pop in your number and send code and fill in the verification. Once in, click on personal and click manage account. Over here, we want to head to billing and we want to add our favorite payment method. If you want to see how much it is exactly uh, before you start spending, head over to the options, click pricing, and then it tells you how much it costs per image generation or per word generation. Okay, we're nearly ready to go. So let's click personal, view API keys, and this is where you can create and select an API key. This key I will delete, obviously. Um, uh, you don't want to share your key because basically that key will allow people to charge your account. Uh, so keep it a secret. Now, with that out of the way, I would like to say a special thank you to Michael Hayden of Autosheets.ai. <laughs> Link in the description. Uh, who allowed me to use his workflow and pretty much this wouldn't be possible without him. So big thanks, Mike. Hey all, this is Alex from the future, uh, about a week and a half in the future. So the voice is going to sound different. I'm in a different room. I'm at a different time. Uh, things have changed. The code has changed. The workflow has changed. I've changed. The aim of this has changed. Everything's changed. So if there's a little bit difference uh, within the continuation of this video, like how it was initially, I'm sorry, but it's changed for the best. So what do I have to show you? We have the bulk GPT-3 content creation, which scrapes and reiterates content. What do I mean by that? Well, first I'll show you how it works. Then I'll show you how it works. Head over to the discover tab and type in the search term you want to be ranking for. So best dog food, that will do, fine. Uh, then we go to extensions and run all requests. So this is using an application called affini.io. I'll give you the instructions on that in a second. And it's scraping Google with uh, my API that I've created. And the green tick means good. So close that down. And now we can put in the data after running API. Here we have it. This is the top 100 articles for best dog food. So let's have a look at some of these articles, which ones would we want? You can select as many or as little as you want. So for the sake of this, I'll just do one. Save my credits, I'll do one. The best dog food, how to choose the right food for your pet. And lovely, so give that a tick and then move over to Rewriter. And that will be waiting for us already, fantastic. Now we have the option to choose additional features, FAQ, TLDR, suggested hashtags, slug, which is the URL. Uh, and create an image. For the sake of the demo, let's push the boat out and do all of them. Head over to the menu and then activate rewrites. A little bit like Stargate Chevrons, these are now locking into place. We have, it's scraping the content of the article and removing all HTML elements. It's creating a list of the top keywords for that article that we should be hitting. It's creating an article summary based on all this information. Then we will ask it to create a 1000 word article with hub headings in the same format, using the same facts and building upon them. The 1000 limitation is due to GPT-3. So which will we push it into another one and we ask it to continue the article. So we can open this and see it's done lovely formatting. I'll fast forward this for the sake of your sanity. 
then we've got continue article. Now we do an FAQ, a TLDR, and then it will compose them all together for us to copy to wherever we wish. Sometimes it gets some random text at the top. Ignore that. That's just, it thinks the buttons I've created are, are instructions, but it's not its code. Then it will write a clickbaity headline, give us an SEO focused URL, meta description, and then to top things off, pierce to resistance, we have a picture. Lovely little dog, Shimp. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, your article's ready to go. What was that? A minute? Two minutes? Uh, and you can click as many articles and it will produce as many as you want. So, what do you need to make this? Okay. First of all, let's head over to setup. You're going to need your GPT-3 API, which we mentioned earlier in this video about two weeks ago. It's uh, put it there. And then SERP House API, which is free. Uh, you get 200 calls for every month, which is ample, really. All of this so far is just one call. Uh, and then stick your API in there. The links are here below. And then Effini, uh, which is the scraping I did on Discover. Hey, it's Alex from the future, future, future here. Uh, if you don't want to pay for a Fini, you don't have to, uh, you just don't do the scraping part. So just delete that entire tab, uh, and just manually put in the URLs. It's optional, but, uh, I just thought I'd add this in. Cheers. Uh, this is usually, I think $13 a month or $300 forever. But right now they have a promotion on, um, AppSumo, uh, where it's $99 forever. No monthly cost. That's it. That's the, that's the price. Uh, so grab that while you can. Additional here, we have credits to Auto Sheets, who came up with the concept initially that I built on. Thank you to them. And buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee, shameless plug-in. Yep, buy me a coffee. Once you're ready and you've got your APIs in order, head over to extensions, add extensions, uh, get add-ons, and then search for API, the Affini API connector. Click on that and click install. It will then ask you for some Google permissions. Plus just click yay, 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 yay. Um, initially, when you first try to run anything here, it will do a pop-up, say this is unsafe. Yeah, click click advanced, click okay, I agree. Sell your soul and then click is fine. Then once you've done that, head back over to Affini Connector and click import API. So what we need here is something that I forgot to do. Uh, we need Hold up. this little snippet here. So I will put this here for you. There we go. Um, let's make that neater. Da -da -da. Let's see what it is. It's not a bike coffee button. Okay. Okay. So once you've got that code, head back over to this import API. Okay. This is important. Paste it in here. Click save. Give it a name. Uh, Google SERP. Uh, Doesn't matter what the name is as long as you know what it is. Save that. Uh, I've got two. You should have one, but this is for demo purposes. Click it. Google Search, that's fine. We want to change this to processing. Do not allow it to be set up. That is important. It will just obliterate this page. But change it to processing so it dumps this stuff in this tab down here. Everything else is good and click save. I'll just delete that. You don't delete yours. Um, so you should just have one. And that's it. You're pretty much ready to go. If you want to kind of customize the tone of voice, the, the way it's written and stuff, you can look under the hood. Simply just highlight number one, hold down shift, highlight number three as well. Right click, do resize rows, fit to data. Okay, so this expands column number two. And you can see all the nitty gritty that we've done with the text here. So things like if you want to change the output type of the content, uh, you can tweak this uh, initial instruction. Additionally, you can uh, tweak the continuation. So have a look, check under the hood, have a play with it, dabble with it a little bit, play and see what you come up with. Um, yeah, so like, subscribe, 
Hope to see you soon by Mary Profi. Uh, take care. Alex out. Bye.